Bruce, how are you? My very best buddy, my old pal. Hi there, Brucey. <laughs> What's it been? I don't know, three weeks. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, last time I laid eyes on you, must have been... Oh, yeah, you didn't believe me when I told you I killed those agents in self-defense. <laughs> it really cleared something up for me, because friends trust each other. So, I guess we know what you aren't. Harley and I have the virus, and if we're anything, we're sharers. It's just too fun to keep to ourselves. So picture how it hit you when you lost those few dozen people on the bridge. Now think about all of Gotham. Maybe then you'll know what it feels like when a friendship dies. Batman, over here. What happened? I... You need to see it. He's down that way. We're trying to help him, but... That's familiar. Bullock. We managed to save him from bleeding out. The clouds. We think it's some kind of booby trap. Until we get someone here with an X-ray, we can't risk moving him. Let me see what I can find. I can't cut him down until I'm sure this isn't some kind of trap. Dilated pupils. Signs of head trauma. Can you tell me what happened? I... I don't know. My stomach, it hurts like hell. With what's happened in Gotham lately, I'm not taking any chances. Something's buried beneath the skin. Get these people back. It could be a bomb. We need to clear the area! Back up! Oh, oh God! Oh, God! Oh, God, no! Jesus! It's safe to cut him down. We're past the sick punchline. Guess this is the world we live in now. Turns your stomach. Jim. It's good to see you. Even though... Uh, I can't remember the last time I was on this side of a police line. Waller canned me, in case you hadn't heard. Right in front of that low-life Wayne. 
Maybe I shouldn't have asked you to do my job for me. Sorry to hear that. Gotham is worse off because of it. Eh, not the worst thing that's happened. Got a little more time with the wife and kid. And I've been making these cigar boxes, humidors, you know? Keeps the hands busy. Wife thinks I should sell them. But it's still not like being on the front line. Especially when shit like this happens. Vitals are dropping! <laughs> Easy now. Don't move. Oh, Jesus. Now this time off, it's given me some time to think. Back in the day, it was only the gangsters you had to worry about. Now, cops are cut open and filled with carnival toys. Makes you wonder. How'd we get here? I look around, the streets are the same. The only real difference is Batman. You know, I hate saying it, but do you think that we only saw this kind of thing after you showed up? Yeah, you brought in a lot of good collars, so I hope it's not the case, but maybe Batman's made Gotham more dangerous. Gotham's in bad shape. You feel it on a day like today. I do all I can to keep these scum off the streets. But I can't do it alone. Help me fight back. I'm not on the force anymore. Oh, hell. I can't keep my hands out of this. I'll poke around, let you know. Hey, uh... I shouldn't have come down on you so hard about arresting Wayne. Yeah, maybe next time we go at it side by side, huh? Batman, Bullock's asking for you. I track a stolen van, full of clowns. So I followed to see what they were doing. That was brave, Detective. You did good work. Thanks. Oh, wish I'd stayed home, though. They... picked up a drop. Was John Doe with them? They left a box. Oh, goddamn freaks. No sign of explosives. Should be safe to open. Automatic weapons. They're heavily armed. Authorized by Wayne Enterprises. And signed for by... Chairwoman Regina Zellerbach. Regina can't come to the phone right now. This is her assistant. This is Bruce Wayne. Oh, hello. Tell Regina I need to speak to her. I'll be there shortly. I'll let her know. Thank you. Prices have been holding steady, despite the events of the last few days. But who knows how long that will last, once word gets out. Our CEO brought known terrorists in... Regina? Speak of the devil. We were just talking about you and your fashion consultants, Bruce. Yeah, I gathered that. Ma'am, he's here. In the board Maybe home. there's an explanation. Why would he come back here if he's with them? You had to know it might come to this. Your connection to these felons, whatever it is, it could ruin the company. You have left me with no choice. <laughs> nice try, Regina. But we both know you're the guilty one in this room. What are you talking about? Care to explain this? You've been authorizing some interesting shipments. 
What is this? Automatic weapons? Grenades? <laughs> Bruce, truly, I never signed this. I've never even heard of this. <laughs> Bruce? <laughs> What's going on? Start talking! Oh. A priest, a rabbi, and a CEO walk into a boardroom. Priest says, it's a trap! The rabbi says, Joker tricked us! All security! The CEO doesn't say anything! Cause he's dead! <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody call for backup? Eyes on me, Brucey. If you care one iota for these suits, you'll stand down. I mean it. Get those hands where I can see them. Please, Harley. Don't. Smart move. Nice work, Kent. You're really moving up the career ladder. What do you want? Thank you oh so very much for asking, Regina. What do you think I want, sweet cheeks? The serum is gone, Harley. It's over. Ain't over till it's over. I was inspired to think outside the box. Oh, here comes my inspiration now. I bring you... Joker! This meeting is now called to order. Regina, good to see you again. Bruce, buddy. Put her there! Well, no need to be rude. Surely, someone else will be hospitable, if they know what's good for them. <laughs> well, that was shocking! <laughs> you get it? <laughs> uh, Bruce, it's been too long. Just finishing up a grand tour of this delightful city. Visited some of our old haunts along the way. But this, Bruce, this has got to be my favorite. My pa always said I'd make it to the top one day. Dreams really do come true. Wayne Enterprises. I bet the benefits package is top notch. You're delusional. You know... Funny thing about delusions, Bruce. They're only delusions until they become reality. <laughs> Besides, these guys must be clamoring for a new CEO. And now, for my first executive order. You remember that pesky virus, don't you, Bruce? We found a way to make more of it. A whole lot more. <laughs> Wanna do the honest pudding? Oh, honey, you know me so well. <laughs>
little but very powerful bomb right there, Gotham. We got a hundred more where that came from. Planted all around the city where you'll never find them. Except for the ones I'm setting off. Now. No! I sent your friendly neighborhood police force a list of demands. First and foremost, Batman's head on a pike in Gotham Square. He's the one who stole oh, it. Oh, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> you got 24 hours to make good. So chop chop. <laughs> She's something else, isn't she? All those demands. I've only got one. Stop me, Bruce. Be my best enemy. Be the man I need you to be. You're pathetic. Just a sad little man looking for attention. No, Bruce! That's you! You're gonna be alone at the end of this! Oh, toughen up, little canary! Guess you fell off that ladder. Keep the masks on. No survivors. Too bad. You done catching up, Mr. J? Place is, uh, starting to stink. We're done. For now. We are going to have so much fun. Till next time, Brucey. Bruce! Bruce, wake up! <sighs> Thank God. Joker and Harley are gone. Cops are on their way. Let's just get to the lab. <laughs> Tiffany, don't. From accounting? Oh, God. Bruce! 